attention of investigators in February of 2012. Now, the homeowner is being held behind bars on more than half a million dollars bail. Gene Mackin, live in the newsroom now with what we're learning. Gene? Well, Tom, investigators were on this case for almost two years, and even after all that time, and the homeowner moving to the nearby town of Hill, police still showed up this morning to arrest him. The house that once stood here on Granite Street in Northfield is being taken away in pieces. Only a pile of debris left after this. In February of 2012, fire gutted the house. At the time, neighbors commented on the intensity of the flames. I was sitting on the couch. I could smell uh, smell like kerosene. Flames had come out the door. The next day, homeowner Ronald Martin showed up to see the damage. Now investigators say he caused it. He's charged with arson, accused of setting his house on fire. The 64-year-old is a convicted sex offender. Investigators say there's no connection between the crimes. An arrest was made on four counts of arson on Ronald Martin. Um, he was arrested with the assistance of the New Hampshire State Police, Andover Police Department, and the Northfield Police Department. Investigators are not commenting on a possible motive. They do say the charges are serious. No one was hurt, but you can see how dangerous this was for firefighters. Police say they risked their lives trying to run into the blaze to make sure no one was trapped. Bail was set at more than a half million dollars. Mr. Martin was held on $550,000 cash and is currently at the Merrimack County Jail. Uh, he will be arraigned on Monday morning. And police say Martin also faces unrelated charges of theft and animal cruelty. They say he killed an animal just last week. They're not elaborating on that case yet. Live in the newsroom, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9. A man that was